Well, hey, y'all. Welcome back and welcome aboard to this very special edition of the Boatless Booze Cruise. It's been just over three months since we last all met up. I've been lonely and I've been missing you guys, but I could not be happier than to be here today. Because today is not only Booze Cruise, it is the official album release for our good pals and Cali Mossy and their brand new album, Laughs. We got a lot of good things in store for y'all today, so stay tuned. We have performances from Red City Radio, Elway, Sincere Engineer, AJJ, just to name a few. There's some comedians lined up. I'm sure they'll make us have some laughs. And then we have some special performances from Cali Mossy as they release their brand new album, Laughs. Be sure to scoop a copy. Uh, the links will be in the comments throughout the day. Uh, it's available streaming everywhere. And donate if you can. Y'all stay safe. This pandemic will end soon. And we will smash some beers up together. Cheers, everybody. See you soon. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's do it. Way. 
Go your way around 
Sick, thanks. Okay, I think I'm gonna play some songs today. Oh, hello there, internet people. Sorry, didn't see you there. My name is Danny Cozy. I play in a band called All the Wine. Thank you for tuning in to the Cali Masi album release live stream. I'm going to play a couple of songs to start up the night, but before I do, I would like to say congratulations to all the guys in Cali Masi Sam, Wes, Anthony, and John. Your new record is absolutely incredible, and I had the privilege of hearing it a few months early at the end of last year. And everyone who's watching right now, be sure to stick around for their set. It is going to be fantastic. And be sure to buy their record when you can. Um, I owe Sam personally a little bit of uh, a debt of gratitude, I could say. Um, Sam introduced me to Wes, who, if you don't know, is the bass player in our band, in All the Wine. And I think, had I not met Wes and Mike, our drummer, um, All the Wine would not be what it is today and it might not even be around um so sam thank you for um inviting me to celebrate your first record's release back in 2017 for a wind instrument also a great record if you haven't picked it up um i'm gonna go ahead and play a couple songs that will be on our record and this first one is called empire builder
Here's to the day last August We hopped on the Empire Builder Bought a ticket to St. Paul And got drunk on the bar car Dodging train lines for security Giving chase up the aisle we got kicked off in Red Wing And passed out in the station We have Six hours to Memphis. Well, I drove you the six hours down to Memphis. Every mile marking a new promise That we swore to keep despite our better judgment Laughing at our worst ideas yet And I stayed up Contemplating every angle
Thanks for tuning in. We're all the wine. Stick around. Hey, sup, this is Deanna from Sincere Engineer. Um, just want to wish Kali Masi a happy record release and thank you for having me. Um, the song's called Tourniquet. I can bear to see, I can barely breathe. Too much or not enough, I'm walking the line between apathy so desperately.
the stars in the daylight Make you stare at the sun Congratulations, Kalamazi. Here's a song. Well, baby, we can talk all night. That ain't getting us nowhere. Giving everything I possibly can. Nothing left inside of here And maybe you can cry all night That'll never change the way that I feel The snow is really piling up outside Wish it would make me leave here I poured it on and I poured it out I tried to show you just how much I care I tried to words and I'm too hoarse to shout But you've been called to me so long I'm crying icicles instead of tears And all I can do is keep on telling you I want you I need there ain't no way I'm ever gonna love you Now don't be sad Cause two out of three ain't bad But don't be sad Cause two out of three ain't bad Sandy beach, You'll never drill for oil on the city street. I know you're looking for a ruby in a pile of rocks, but there ain't no coop to fail hiding at the bottom of a cracker jack box. I can't lie. I can tell you that I'm something I'm not No matter how I try I'll never be able To give you something Something that I just haven't got Well, there's only one girl that I will ever love And that was so many years ago Though I swear she never loved me back Ooh, I know I remember how she left me on a stormy night She kissed me and got out of my bed Though I pleaded and I begged her not to walk out that door She packed her bags and turned right away Telling me I want you, I need you. Well, there ain't no way I'm ever gonna love you. Now don't be sad. Cause two out of three ain't bad. But don't be sad. Cause two out of three. And baby, we can 
talk all night That ain't getting us nowhere Thanks. Okay, this is a cover by S.
Coming to you live from a Holiday Inn Express somewhere between Fort Myers Beach, Florida and Chicago because he had to leave his family trip early because his mom kept bringing up social issues that she doesn't know anything about. It's the host of the Education Smeducation Podcast, Mike O'Keefe. Thank you. All right. It's great to be here. Big thanks to Kali Masi for having me. It's good to be here. How's it going? My name is Mike O'Keefe. You hear about this? Did you guys hear about this? Lamp, you hear about this? Of course you did. Johnny Damon, we know him from baseball. He blew a .297. .297. He got so drunk, so hammered, stinking drunk, he blew a .297. .297. That is a really ugly guy. That is a boy, oh boy. That's a that's someone you don't want to spend any time with. Imagine doming off that guy, and then you get pulled over for drunk driving. That's a terrible night. Also, .297, better batting average than Johnny Damon ever had. I guarantee it. It's great to be here. Speaking of slurping off ugly dudes, I had a pretty good time in school. I wasn't a bad student. I only got in trouble once. School only called my house once. Uh, in my entire schooling career, and it was because I refused to practice the recorder. I didn't, I didn't play the recorder at all. I didn't practice. But in my defense, I didn't think that they could tell the difference between good recorder playing and bad recorder playing. All recorder playing sounds like a guy who ate a bunch of saltines and is trying to whistle. That's every song on the recorder. Every song on the recorder is like... <laughs> what was that? That was 99 Problems by Jay-Z. I'm great at the recorder. (laughs) What was that? That was Panama by Van Halen. That was your parents' wedding song. How do you not know that? (laughs) What was that? That was Hot Cross Buns, a recorder classic. I am the best recorder player. That's my recorder player character. It's very good. I've been working on it. It's real nice. It's real nice. I'm not my girlfriend's best friend. Did you know that about me? I thought I was her best friend. Uh, turns out I'm not because she said, Mike, you're not my best friend. Uh, so I thought she was my best. My best friend is now a guy in Canada. You guys don't know him. He goes to another virtual record release show. He's really cool. He's got a leather jacket and a skateboard. That's attached to a motorcycle. He's the tightest dude ever. My girlfriend tells me I'm not her best friend so much. I'm going to make her say that to people at my funeral. That's, that's what I'm going to do. People are going to come up and be like, I'm so sorry for your loss. She's going to be like, I'm glad someone is. 
Not my fave. Come back in a couple years when it's Carly in the old pine box. Then you'll see the waterworks. Not busting out the tears for old number four back there. You can while out at a loved one's funeral, though. My dad uh, unfortunately passed away in 2019, before 2020, before all, before everyone was dying. My dad was in early. He was a hipster. He was like R.E.M. in 1987 with the document album. He was right in there when he needed to be. Uh, this is a true story. The first line of my dad's eulogy that I gave, my first line was, Hey, guys, which is a great start. That's how all the eulogies start. My first line was, Hey, guys. Please don't embarrass me in front of my dad. Yeah. I got an applause break in a eulogy, and that's very rare. It was, good. It was the best gig I ever did. It only cost me negative $9,000. That was my paycheck. Also, my second line was, I'm Mike O'Keefe. Welcome to Jackass. That's what I did. That is what I did. I'm going to talk about my dead dad for a, uh, a couple seconds here. If you guys aren't okay with me talking about how my father has passed, just imagine I'm talking about how my dad lives on a farm upstate now with the other dads just running around doing dad stuff yelling about soup and fox news just this is too hot just like that aoc i'm mad about things that don't have anything to do with me and i only wear jogging pants my dad was in the hospital for about four months before he passed they took great care of him great care i knew they would on the first day we get in there very nervous all of a sudden, this angel walks up to me, this GD angel, looks me in the eye, shakes my hand, and says, Hello, my name is Nurse Steve, and I'm going to be putting in your dad's catheter today. And then he winked at me. He winked at me. Ting, it made a noise like, oh, Ting, he winked at me. I didn't know I could have a second favorite person who's touched my dad's penis. But welcome to second place, mom. Nurse Steve never had too much Chardonnay and told me to go to grad school, all right? So he's number one now. <laughs> my dad left me his iPad. <laughs> That's what I inherited. I have an heirloom iPad. It, it's gonna go through generations and generations of O'Keefe's. A lot of people get like a house or money or a new sense of life. No, I just got a big old phone that doesn't make phone calls. That's what I got. Uh, I know I'm a good person, though, because I have access to my dead dad's email, and I don't use it to prank his stupid friends. I don't. I really, I, I, I think about it every time I open it up to go masturbate. I think about it every time. I'm like, do I see what's popping on OnlyFans, or do I give old Frank Sadowski a scare? That's my, that's, that's my thought process. Here's what I would write. I would just write... What's up, you dirty dogs? That would be the first line. Got to start off strong. Turns out heaven stinks. The only hot chick up here is Mother Teresa, and she's at best a point two nine seven. So go down there and do whatever you want, because heaven is lame. P.S. Please subscribe to Michael's podcast. He needs the numbers. All right, that's all the jokes I have. Thank you so much for having me. Enjoy the new Kali Masi record, which I'm guessing is called And Out Come the Wolves 3. It's going to be great. Everyone's talking about it. <laughs> all right. Hey everybody, um, I want to thank Kelly Mossy for inviting me to play their, their record release show. This is awesome. Um, yeah, greetings, Auf Wiedersehen, uh, and hello. My name is Sean Bonnet, and I play uh, normally in the band AJJ. But tonight I'm playing solo. This is a this is the first song. It's called Heartalation. <laughs>
skateboarder. When I'm a dead boy, burn my body, pour a couple of my ashes into concrete. Build a bench ten feet long, twelve inches tall. Wave in a 
sea of simple sadness until they tear me down. When I'm a dead boy. When I'm a dead boy. I can go on.
Thanks very much. <laughs> Have a good one, everyone. Hi, how's everybody doing? Good to see everyone. Some familiar faces in the crowd is always good. Uh, I'm glad to be doing this. I find comedy is an interesting way to unwind after a long day, and I've had a long day. I had a pregnancy scare the other day. <laughs> uh, yeah. Zoinks. Thought about what it must be like to be pregnant, and then I just like screamed for five minutes straight. So, I feel like I dodged a bullet on that one. Uh, that's especially terrifying to me because, like, to be honest, I spend most of my time, energy, and money with one singular goal in mind, right? And that is to create and maintain a hostile and empty womb. You know, I uh, spend a lot of money on it too. I just got myself an IUD, intraurinary device. Yeah, I got the plastic one, but I'm thinking about next time maybe upgrading for the copper one because it's not like anyone else is buying me jewelry, <laughs> right? I do have a boyfriend. He doesn't buy me jewelry, uh, but I do have a boyfriend. He's really sweet. He likes to remind me every time it's like our month anniversary, you know? Yeah, he came up to me the other day, he was like, you know, Mom, we've been together long enough that we could have a baby right now. I was like, why the fuck would you say that to me? <laughs> you know, I was like, yeah, or like nine abortions. Forgive me, but I believe in the power of us, you know? I can't tell if you're laughing or not. Uh, some people, they don't like to laugh at that joke, which is fair. Uh, it's kind of touchy subject matter, you know, it's like on the line there, and I get that. Um, but I don't have a boyfriend, so no need to be offended. <laughs> Nine abortions, though, that is true. Comedy is rooted in truth. Uh, you know, a pretty cool thing about me is that I used to be addicted to a certain drug. Uh, I won't tell you which one, more fun if you guess. Uh, but let's just say it rhymes with the word propane, all right? Yeah, uh, I did so much propane that my pinky nail became a propane accessory. What, get out of here. Uh, I quit, which is good, um, unless anyone has any. Anthony will give you my number. I quit, but I kind of just replaced it with another habit. I'm really into, like, energy drinks, so I frequent a lot of gas stations, right? Uh, the Indian dudes that own them, some of the most stable and loving father figures I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, I frequent one gas station in particular. Ooh, I just my condition. <laughs> well, I'll be right back. Oh, one gas station in particular, the guys know me so well, I'll walk in, I'll slap the counter twice, I'll ask them to give me a cool and culture. That's what I call a white monster energy drink. What? Boom! That joke is for people between the aisle. Everyone can enjoy that one. I do like monster energy drinks. I know that that is disgusting. I kind of wish that I were the type of person that liked Red Bulls, because Red Bulls, they just feel so... Ooh, you know, like dainty. You know, those are tiny little cans, like pinky up. Adorable. They're absolutely adorable. Meanwhile, monster energy drinks, they come in a fucking growler. And I feel like if they had, <laughs> if they had a commercial, it would be something like this. It would be like, hey, you sick son of a bitch. What, are you having trouble waking up at noon? Well, we're at one of these. I'll tell you what this is. This is eat all the goats in a small Mexican village energy. A chupacabra. A chupacabra. Monster energy drink. Run for president. My shower is finishing up now. Um, this has been fun, I hope, for you. It's kind of been fun to me. Uh, I don't have much time left, but I will, I will leave you with this. Um, although I will stay in your hearts forever. I'm on Tinder, you know, because I'm always looking for better, more convenient ways to uh, date people without leaving my house. We need it now more than ever in the new normal. 
never actually met any of the guys that I met on there though, because I feel like if I wanted to have dinner with a complete stranger, I would just call my father. Anyway, enjoy Kelly Massey. I am going to get out of the shower. It's been fun. How's everybody doing out there in the internet world? Hope you're having a good time. Well, here's a song that I didn't write. Sing along, Cali, mass is tight, now don't worry. Be happy. Cause every life you'll have some troubles. But when you worry, you'll make it double. So don't worry You'll be happy Come on everybody, sing along Ooh. Oh, you sitting at home Everybody down, so don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Hey, we're Kali Masi. Thanks for coming to our virtual record release party. This song's called Long Term.
never see you And if someone never said that you fall for you The two more seasons to sink to long term to you We're gonna play a couple of old songs now, right? Yeah. yeah. So 
name is Jillian. I played in a band called Turnspit for a few years here in Chicago and I'm currently playing in a band called Hi Ho. And it is my distinct pleasure to play a song for you guys here for Kali Mossy's virtual record release show. Um, just want to say a quick thing or two about the boys in the band, if I may. Uh, it has been an honor and a pleasure um, to learn and grow and play music alongside those dudes uh, even before they were Kali Masi, playing at Quenchers and playing solo sets with Sam. Um, played many shows together over the years and it's been really wonderful to watch their trajectory, their successes, um, and yeah, I'm happy to be a part of a pretty special cohort here in Chicago of people doing cool shit and, uh, you know, even in the face of a pandemic, we are still trucking along trying to figure out how to choose this life of music and art and uh, I am always impressed with the creativity that comes out of uh, Kali Masi beyond the music as well. So just wanted to say that in the spirit of uh, why we do this shit, right? Um, I'm gonna play a song that is a work in progress. It's not totally finished. Um, I've showed it to my band and that's about it. We haven't finished writing it, but uh, it's kind of about recognizing what you're good at, why you do the things you do, um, and there's uh, some little, a little bit of lightness at the end of the tunnel for all of us, right? It's been a rough year, so. Working title for this tune is called Love Sick. Mug. It's got a chip on the lip 
makes mornings hard when I've got whiskey to sip. Makes me wonder why I think I need to quit. Makes me sulk and somber longer than seems fit. Hot toddies in our cold bodies. Hot nicotine shared at parties. Cold shoulders from the glitter oddy came off as gaudy when you found the best free coffee in Raleigh. Slight change of scenery, people I've yet to meet are waiting for me, so I'm clutching the van keys. And setting vagrant tendencies, like giving away all my money, putting steel to the stone, more honing and less zoning when I'm alone. Go to bed early without wasting time on my phone. Postponing, mindless droning, till I am stoned, I'm out on my own. Not coming home until I've broken more bones. Hot toddies in our cold bodies, hot nicotine shared at parties. Cold shoulders from the glitter oddy Came off as gaudy When you found the best free coffee in Raleigh Hot toddies in our cold bodies Hot nicotine shared at parties Cold shoulders from the glitter oddy Came off as gaudy When you found the best free coffee in Raleigh my toes to make sure you don't know When I tell the truth I take off my shoes I'm inside your room I leave a knife by the door In case the bad dreams dare come back for me front porch to smoke but you awoke swallowed these pain pills to help me get to sleep the floor won't make a sound once I can't feel my feet it's harder to listen to silence than it is to hear you tell the truth I can't tell if I'm being forward 
for if you just don't want me to know. Cause I don't think I can stay. I feel I were down on you. So I sleep under the bed just to put you on edge. I'm mad I said anything. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Neil. I'm really excited to be a part of the show tonight. I'm really excited that this record is out. I'm really excited that Anthony and his band asked me to be a part of this show. Though The thing I'm most excited about though these days is that uh, I managed to live through and survive this past year that was filled with so much weird shit. Like, like It wasn't all bad weird shit too. There was fun weird shit. Uh, my favorite weird thing of the past year has got to be the Travis Scott meal at McDonald's. It's so dumb. Who asked for that? America's favorite but stodgiest fast food restaurant teamed up with a rapper for no fucking reason. And it was like McDonald's attempting to be cool when no one needs that. We all know the deal when you go to McDonald's. Five things on the breakfast menu Seven things on the dinner menu. That's all. We do not want innovation or thought. We just want salty familiarity, disgusting comfort. That's it. But instead, McDonald's decided they needed to corner the market in young dudes in Supreme shirts who want hamburgers. And it really showed that the marketing execs at McDonald's are all sad divorced dads sitting around in an exec room going, okay, we need to reconnect with our children. I mean our customers. So what we need is a rapper with a name we can pronounce. And if you don't remember it, the Travis Scott meal itself was just a quarter pounder where they added bacon and lettuce, a medium fry with a side of barbecue sauce and a Sprite, which is all shit they had laying around which is a real sad divorced dad move. Uh, but I'll also say too, in my fast food rattled brain, they were selling that shit for six bucks. That's a fucking deal, man. You bet your ass I ate that. <laughs> so uh, I live in Bloomington, Indiana, which, which is not a big city, but I grew up in an even smaller town in Southeast Indiana. And being a person from a really, really small town, I had to get over something that people from places like that do, where they're always trying to flex about how small the town they grew up in was, you know, acting like growing up in a small town is the same thing as having a personality. Uh, since I live in Indiana, we also call that melon camping. And it's not a flex, man. Being like, oh, my town? We had two restaurants and no professional firefighters. That's not flexing, man. That's fucking sad. And even worse still is when you have uh, two people trying to out small town each other. It's like seeing two peacocks face off to show how few feathers they have. And I don't know why it's like that. Because in my mind, it would just be two people commiserating over shared experiences. But instead, it's always this contentious race to the bottom of the brag barrel where they're gathering information about the other one ready to spring it on the other like it's the fucking season finale of the Real Housewives of Dipshit County. Like, oh, hold on. You're telling me the town you grew up in had more than one high school. And you had a combination KFC Taco Bell? Get the fuck out of my face! You don't bring that weak shit around me! Oh, my high school graduating class was 300 people. Try 75, motherfucker! And that 
was consolidated from the whole county. So what you can do is get your ass a tent and a cantaloupe because you just got melon camped. Ba boom Keep stepping, suburbs! Anyway, that's enough dumb bullshit from me. I'm Neil Meyer. Thanks. Bye! Hi, everyone. We're Las Nubes. Thanks for having us on here for Kalimasi's uh, record release. Super stoked for them. Excited to hear it. Enjoy these songs.
Uh, sorry about that. My mom called me while we were recording, so we have to do this again. Um, this song is a super brand new song that no one has heard yet. It's called Agua Plastica, and it's in Portuguese. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm Winslow. I know this is weird comedy, stand-up comedy, through Zoom, it's bullshit. Maybe some of you have seen some of it, I don't know. Usually comedy thrives with groups of people. Normally I'm performing in front of tens of people. But right now I just have my buddy Nick, so that's how it's gonna be for this entire thing. But we're gonna have fun. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. We're both gross people. I, uh, I'm not originally from Chicago. I'm actually from Omaha. And when people, uh, when I was, when I was telling people I'm moving to Chicago, they told me, be careful, because Chicago's a really tough city. And I didn't believe them uh, until I saw a man walking out of a Jewel Osco, and he was carrying a sheet cake. He was walking along, and he walked, and he tripped, and the sheet cake slipped, and it splattered all over the ground, and the motherfucker kept walking, did not miss a step. I fucking value that, man, because that's the hardness of that man's decision. Because that means his, like, his... His dialogue in his head was just him going like, Hey, I'm gonna do something nice for the guys at work, and fuck them! And just kept going? I fucking like that. I like that kind of intensity, you know? That's, that's, that kind of characterizes a lot of me. Uh, my, my name's Winslow. Uh, my mom named me after the rat from Cat Dog. Uh, I've lived with that my whole life. My, uh... I don't know, I, 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 I've, I've lived with a weird name my whole life. I really like names. I used to work at Marriott. And I would, uh, you know, get a lot of the names in, I'd read people's names. And, uh, I made a reservation for a man named Metropolitan Smooth. It was fucking amazing. That's the, that's either a name of a man or, like, a really exotic ice cream. You know, I really like a good name on somebody. And I, I sell a lot of, like, goth art online. I'm an illustrator, so I sell a lot of goth art. And that means, uh, one of the things that the goths like to do, they like to change their name. And I know that. Because I just sold some art to a man named Ichabod Ravendark, who has the same billing address as the real man who paid for it, whose name is just Brian Dombrowski. And that's, I love that. Ichabod Ravendark, that's, that's incredible. Ichabod Ravendark has a horse and a curse. Brian Dombrowski bought a cape off of Wish. Those are two very different people. I did learn from a friend, though, uh, that... Rob Zombie's credit cards actually say Robert Zombie. Don't have a joke for that. That one's just for you. But the goths have been good. Are you on your fucking phone? God damn it. All right, whatever. The goths... The goths have been good for society. Not for, like, Rome, but, like, modern goths. They've contributed so much. I mean, trench coats, the matrix, bondage, the phrases. Uh, blood is thicker than water. Goths gave you that. Throw me a bone, World Wide Web, right off the bat. Those are all great goth phrases that we've given to the United States. Uh, I don't like it, side note, I don't like it when my girlfriend calls me daddy. I think that's weird, because I'm from Nebraska. She should call me Peepaw. Uh, that's fun. Now, she's mad at me, though, because uh, I refer to both shitting and coming as making some rope. So, here's a, here's a, here's a tip. You can, uh, if, you, if you have to kick a man's ass, just uh, wear tap shoes and the police will think a horse did it. Okay, see, these are new. Normally, you know, you play off the audience. I have no fucking idea what's going on on the other end of this, so we'll find out. Uh, I don't know, I, I really like, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of different people on Facebook. I like to keep like a pretty broad spectrum of things, keep my, keep the eyes on everything. I really, the conservatives are the most fun people on Facebook because they will post things like my nephew was arrested for being a white man then you read the comments it was arson it's fantastic they're the most paranoid people I saw a dude the other day conservative guy posted the this is true posted a very pretty cell phone picture of a sunset and then captioned it with they're trying to take this away from us what are you worried about? The, the Antifa is taking the sun. Or maybe they're just moving the horizon down so that, I don't know. What the fuck? That's crazy. I, but conservatives, are, they're so much fun. Because I think back to, I was with my cousin and we were watching 9-11 as it happened. He was crying and he said, dude, this is so fucking gay. What about that is gay? What is, huh? Dudes will say things like, no homo, but it's nice out. Like, what? <laughs> Masculinity is fucking baffling, dude. I, I, like, I know I dress like a YouTube atheist, but I want you to know I fuck like a man who is afraid of God. Like, I am not masculine 
at any point. Uh, but I, I don't know. I dudes, dudes will other like they'll call other dudes pussies and they'll call them you're you're acting like a girl. You're acting like a girl right up until they identify as a woman and then they're like, oh, actually, you're a strong jawed shit house of a man. It's like make up your mind. You don't know what you're bigoted about. And that's all for me. Thank you very much. Jeff. I play lead rhythm guitar in the rock group Cigarettes Midwest, and I'm here to give you a feature presentation on some of our closest friends, Kali Mossy. Please join me. First slide, please. Kali Mossy. A quick glance at America's favorite rock and roll band. Next slide, please. Kali Mossy is the reason why I decided to play for the Chicago Bulls. Michael Jordan, how about that? The chart topping rock group Kali Mossy consists of four handsome rockers. We have John Garrison. Sam Porter, Wes Moore, and who can forget for a string Tony. As you can see below, the group spreads out their riffs evenly throughout their songs. We have John, we have Sam, we have Wes, and how can you forget for a string Tony?
The name Kalimasi derives from the band being located in the exact middle between two states, California and Massachusetts. And here they are. This concludes my presentation on the rock group Kalimasi. Unfortunately, I smoked too much marijuana last night and only made it through four slides. However, I ate six to seven crab rangoons and watched their audio tree when Sam still had long hair. I cannot recommend it enough. But in all seriousness, Kalimasi fucking rules and there's so much love in Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and Philly for you all. We cannot wait for the new record <laughs> to come out today. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce my best friend and soulmate, Max Stern. Wow. Thank you, Jeff, for that helpful and informative presentation. Uh, congratulations to Kali Masi on your new record. It's great. Honored to be a part of this little celebration here. Uh, and more importantly, I'm just glad to know Four String Tony. My name is Max. These are some songs by a band I'm in called Signals Midwest. This one's a new one. It's called I Used to Draw. It came out a couple days ago. I used to draw everything. I lived it all day long, daydreams. I drew my mother's markers dry. Early way of getting high. I drew the dogs, hardwood sprawl, warm obstructions in the hall. Only captured what I could, but I think I was getting pretty good. I was getting pretty good. And when I set my pencil down, Decades later in a different town I left a trail of tired lines That no straight edge could ever guide Spoke to the city and it spoke back It ain't latitude you lack What lies here is no less true It ain't all just built Exit sign I missed Little stars To remind Loose ends that I Left untied So when you're ground Down in gray In those gradient Weekdays Just remember The gift is that you get To keep doing it You settle down That shouldn't Take too long Day long daydreams. Oh, 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 oh. I want to live like that. This one's called Sanctuary City. I wonder what they'll build next year. And what a block will look like this. 
this town next year Bet I don't recognize it I bet I don't recognize it I'm on the subway with my arms up Half her space, half an expression of enough is enough You splurge on a cab, we kiss in the backseat And for a second we forget that there's so many other things to be Been searching for a sanctuary city, there's so many other things to be Been searching for a sanctuary West side, summer sunset and splitting earbuds on the bus Carol King and Otis Redding and I try to be tender, I try to be kind and remind myself that there is such a quiet grace in private moments in public spaces we sing on stolen ground and borrow time and for a second So many other things to be Yeah, there's so many other things to be Searching for a sanctuary city There's so many other things to be Wrote a note and a song For goodness with no agenda May we map our palms to the landscape May we till this ground forever There's a landscape coming into focus Eyes locked on a figure in the distance Remember to remember It's easy to forget that there's so many other things to be Searching for a sanctuary city There's so many other things to be Searching for a sanctuary city do one more song and uh just want to say thanks again to Kali Masi for inviting us to do this um we all live in different places so it's hard to get together and play music together especially now um but I'm very much looking forward towards doing that in the future uh, so hopefully we can all hang out and eat a bunch of crab rangoons which is really what I'm in it for. Uh, so yeah, this is the last one. It's called Your New Old Apartment. I only saw you a couple of times last year. Once at a wedding, once at a funeral I wore the same clothes to both and I was worrying you would notice cause yours were impeccable you filled me in on potential five year plans you're thinking of jobs and homes and children slowly rotating a silver wedding Between your thumb and middle finger 
And I wondered, oh my God, did I get lost? Am I young enough to just move on? I saw a classmate I hadn't seen in years. He was well dressed and fucked up our handshake. House making music. I haven't listened yet and Somebody said you're doing great And it felt like a dream at double speed On a Greyhound back from Pittsburgh Comparing something like that To where others are at What a backwards way To calculate self-worth A mother's out there climbing mountains my father's finished with his work My sister's moving to a brand new city My brother's looking out for her But anyway, thanks for having me over To your new old apartment See you listen to the record that I sent you I wish I saw you all the time Yeah, but this is fun Well, hey, you booze cruisers. I am joined right now by Sam and John and Anthony of Cali Mossy. Uh, we are celebrating their release today. Uh, guys, how you guys doing? Nice to see you. Good. You too, man. Yeah. 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 Let's take Finn, miss you. yeah, I miss you guys too. I'm very excited. You guys have a, an actual end of the tunnel is in sight with you guys here in Germany. I think the Cali Masi tour is probably going to be the first realistic uh, tour of an American band to come over here to Germany, uh, which is still late 2021. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed, man. Yeah, it is looking good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the last time we saw you, we either were playing a show together in Germany with Lil Teeth or it might have been on that boat that isn't a real boat, but it's shaped like a boat. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. We, we slept on a boat. And uh, I can't remember. Yeah, it was a, it was a pre-booze cruise thing in Meppen, mm -hmm. Germany. Yep. And then, then we cruised on up. Uh, yeah, had a little boat hangout for a night. Uh, and I think, what, on this next tour you guys are coming over, you guys are going to be playing booze cruise again. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. The, the frosty cold booze cruise, like like it, right in the port of Hamburg. So I mean, I guess you guys will be used to it. I mean, you guys live in Chicago, where you yeah, have the the lakes, cold, icy wind coming all the time. But uh, yeah, I can't wait. I mean, I think uh, I will be. You guys are in Munich on Thanksgiving night, which is pretty rad. We'll be hanging out then. But I think you Hell. guys will be the. First Americans I see in over almost two years at that point. That's wild. Yeah, we're going to get the loner crowd. I don't know. Do people do Thanksgiving over there? Is it just gonna no, be but we could do it. Better? We could do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll get, I'll get a big bottle of port wine, and like I, I normally cook like a big vegan Thanksgiving. So we'll have to pre-party at my house, and then people could deal with the sloppy show. I, I can't wait. That. It's going to be yeah. awesome. Yeah, that sounds the new records out today guys like 
laughs? Why why the title laughs? Um, it's a it's like a it's kind of I guess a nod is the wrong word, but it's uh from like closed captioning. Like in closed captioning rules, it's uh like if something's in brackets, it's like uh, happening off the screen. It's like a, a sound that's happening off the screen, and if it's uh I think if it's italicized it's like somebody else is saying it other than the person you can see um so we just uh it was a title that we had floating around and we thought that it was a nice juxtaposition uh with like some of the i guess some of the darker shit that's going on in the record because like the record's really about like fit finding like your uh a path to uh unlock the the happiness and the good stuff so we we're kind of like um wanted to juxtapose some maybe some of the more obvious darker themes with like an overall like lighter uh more joyful title for the record yeah well the songs i've heard uh fucking perfect like the singles you guys have released uh the music videos to go along with it like everything this this record seems to like be a little shift for you guys i mean uh only judging from the singles i it's uh it's a little more accessible. Uh, the lyricism is just, you've grown so much as a, as a writer that it's, you, you, keep, you can obviously hear that like, you guys are off for some bigger and better things. Um, I don't know, I love it. I'm really stoked on you guys. Yeah. I, think, I think this is gonna be a really good thing for you guys. Uh, excited to be part of you guys' release. Dude, we're stoked. I think that, yeah, it's, it's weird, it kind of, when I think with the, the writing of the songs, there was definitely, I think a lot of the songs are, are like, like you said, maybe a little more, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if accessible is the word, but I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, but the ones that are like on the album that aren't released, well, that weren't previously released, I think some of them are a lot more kind of challenging and experimental. And there was definitely a point that we got to kind of in the writing process where we were like, do these songs all fit together? Like, is this going to work? You know, does, does this all yeah, does yeah. This sound like a cohesive record? Because some of the songs are really brief and poppy and some of them are really like, uh, yeah, just weird and all over the place and, and really pushing ourselves and stuff. And uh, I think we're pretty happy with, the way the cohesion ended up happening and the way things well, ended up. I mean, Anthony, it's been, it's been like awesome being your Facebook friend through all this because you've gotten me so excited for the record. I always love when I hear a musician be like, man, this record is my favorite piece of music, even if I wasn't in the band, which I think, I think, I think it's super important and it conveys when like your band is kind of favorite band, you know, like I, I think yeah. all musicians should aspire to do that. And I mean, seeing you post about this, it's been like, damn, okay, well, awesome. I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to hear the whole thing and how Trophy Deer and everything like fall into the whole swing of the album. We're definitely really, I mean, I'm definitely really excited about it. I think we're all really excited about it. It's been a long time coming, so. Yeah, I think there's like a little personal hurdle you have to jump over, like being a Midwestern person and like celebrating your own work. And I don't know if you guys feel that way, but I am like genuinely like pretty proud of this record and I would totally listen to it. But like telling people that I'm like, you know, nobody, nobody's going to be your cheerleader if you're not going to be your cheerleader. So I think there's been like a little bit of that going on, which has been kind of a cool thing to be like, I did a good job. I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. And I think you did so too. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. Give yourself a pat on the back. You know, if you think you, you did some something that's uh, is good and you're proud of it. Yeah, fuck yeah. I mean, you guys, you guys deserve it. I mean, it's, I think it's going to fucking break some waves for you guys. I think you guys have a pretty bright future coming out of this. Uh, Sam, you, you said before that this is, this is your first band. Like, I, I thought I saw you right no, before did, that. He did a this podcast is... called My First Band Podcast, oh, okay. but where you talk about, like, your first bands prior to the ones that... Oh, okay, God, I was like, before. God yeah. damn, the only other person I know whose first band, like, worked out was Dave Matthews, and everybody knows that that sucks. Ah, uh, so... we'll never be as good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the only band. That's is this, like, my second bad. band? 
two and a half i'm two and a half bands in this is like i was in like a hardcore band for like a weekend and i won a surf rock band before this and and this is the band this is my only band it's the only band i'm in oh that's great news yeah yeah. I'm in a few other bands. No, they don't know about it though. I don't know. I don't even know about it yet, but I am. Uh... Yeah, yeah. You got to keep yourself open to some new opportunities every once in a while, you know? Yeah. John, John's yeah. a drummer, yeah. and you know how drummers are just always getting asked to be in a million yeah. bands. No one there's a world, drums. there's a world shortage on drummers. I was telling John before you guys joined that, like, if I ever have a child, no matter what they want to do with their life, I'm going to fuck their dreams over and be like, you are a drummer. <laughs> like, like the world needs you. You, you, you play the drums. Worst yeah. thing, there are worse <laughs> things to be forced into doing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you could, you could be in a band in any town in the world. And they're like, I just want to be a kindergarten teacher. And it's like, Neeks, you are a drummer. So. Yeah. <laughs> Everything oh, that I, they do be like, ah, oh, of course you did that. You're a fucking drummer, man. Of course you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. Right on par. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. So, I mean, America, the world's coming back to normal. You guys have any shows coming back up soon? I mean, Germany's pretty far behind on everything, but it seems like... No, our, our Europe shows in November are the only ones booked right now. Cool. Yeah, fast. I mean, fast, but it's a question mark, you know. But there's a big festival going on in Alabama. So, I mean, I don't see why Florida oh, yeah. would be any different. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's what that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's just just hoping fest works out, you know, and then I guess I'll come hang out with you guys in a freezing cold Hamburg, uh December booze cruise because I'm just dying for concerts. I'm dying. I, yeah. I feel like. I yeah. totally jacked Torrance myself over here in Munich where I just feel like uh, all I'm doing is going to work and no band practices. And uh, so fest or Hamburg, I'll come get it. I'll catch a normal old cold with you guys in, in uh, December. Oh man. How, how fun that sounds. Just a normal cold. I haven't gotten sick at all this year, which has definitely been a bonus of just like staying away from people and wearing a mask like all the time. Just, yeah. Like, and I've washing, sick washing your hands. I haven't gotten sick once at all. Like yeah. I feel like, I feel like the super flu is coming, you know, like, uh, like oh, man. <laughs> it's, it's going on yeah. right now. Actually. It's yeah. The big sick is happening. <laughs> yeah, man. We're going to be like, you know how like really wealthy people have like a vacation home in Florida for when it gets cold in wherever else they live in like Indiana or whatever. We're going to do the opposite where we're like going to leave the winter here and come to the winter there and just have like double. Yeah. Yeah. Like sn snowbird squared. There you go. Mm -hmm. Super. Sober. Yeah. 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 Well, we only have like a, a minute or two left. Uh, do you guys have any any parting words about uh, the new album, about uh, what to look out for, about when we see you next? What's you guys' favorite drink so we can bring them to you on stage? Ooh, all of the all of the uh, all the beers, all the German beers. We love Hell the yeah. German beer. Yerba mate the over there beer. is fucked. It's so good, dude. The yerba mate. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. I drink it all the time. It's like crack in a glass, you know? Yeah. It's right. different over there. It's different over there. Like, yeah, it, we have it here, and it's like a shitty energy drink. But over there, it's like... When you're here for the next tour, and you're at the bar, do you guys know what a turbo mate is? No. Where they, What's that? They, 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 they give you a, a, one of those bottles of, of yerba mate, and like you drink it. Mate. Yeah, club mate, and you drink as much as you can, and you put it back down, and they'll top it off with vodka. <laughs> oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah, so, yeah, so you, that's what. I'm... Yeah, if you if you could chug the whole bottle, they'll fill you up a whole bottle of vodka. But like, it's a nice, it's a pretty fun. Enjoy that on tour <laughs> <Yeah>. in November. <laughs> Hot damn! Hell yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Well, guys, yeah, I don't know, so, no parts. So, so, I'm stoked to come over. I'm stoked to play shows. I'm just really excited to see other people. God damn, tell me about it. I'm excited to see you guys. We'll uh we'll be together in in Munich. Uh and then like I said, we'll be we'll be anybody watching wants to catch a ride with us up to fucking Hamburg in December. Holler at us. But uh man, I can't wait to see you guys. It's like the you guys are the bright light at the end of the tunnel. Uh off screen laughs. laughs.
you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah well guys congratulations on the album release uh i think this is going to open up some amazing doors for you guys but it is a fucking killer record and thank you so much for you, for bringing booze cruise into this happy release day and we will uh keep on rocking in the free world or something like neil young said hell yeah <laughs> yeah do, do the right. loop, <laughs> well cheers guys thanks Corey. cheers thank you. Thanks, Corey. feels good feels good uh, feels good yeah good in the neighborhood <laughs> fuck yeah hey um we're back thanks so much to all our good friends who have uh kind of been there uh with our band all over the world and uh thanks for coming and joining us on this online stream to celebrate our record release uh we're gonna play a couple more songs if uh if anybody falls down pick them up
From calling at the Detroit late frame 1994 to Caroline But the windscreen's just thin enough to spit through And by now we know how it goes Winter stays too long, we cancel plans Oh, it's gotten too cold And when the sun shines, it's city turns to gold Whoa.
Thanks. Uh, thanks to everybody who uh, tuned in and watched all this. Thanks to all of our friends um, from all over the place who uh, decided to join us and play their music and tell some stories and uh, tell some jokes and everything. Um, thanks so much to Booze Cruise and Corey and Stefan and everybody for uh, for helping us put this together and uh, Jay Moss for mixing, mixing the audio and everything. Um, can't wait to, to get over to Germany um soon and see some friends and get out and play some fucking shows you know super stoked yeah we had a really good time doing this really thanks to everyone who has uh picked up the record and said something nice about it um we're really stoked on it that's all i have to say about that yep ditto <laughs> <laughs> thanks John. you guys said everything yeah. Oh, yeah. I was. I almost like when I was saying, I almost forgot that it's a record release. Thank you. Thanks for picking up the record. I hope you guys like the fucking record. Um, also, Wes isn't here um, because he's out uh, doing good deeds around the city, and uh, he wishes he could be here. And he loves everybody very much, and uh, says thanks uh, to everybody for fucking being here and and being so supportive uh, to our band. Um, we hope we weren't too annoying with uh, just harassing you to pick up this record, but also hopefully you did that. Hopefully we did our job. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yep.
Bye. You lit me up like a firework Sucked myself inside of a can Like a man thought I was a martyr We were standing lakeside Bathed in the red of CVS lights I'm sure that someone's got a photo of us On that night under fireworks Stuck myself inside of a can What a man thought I was a martyr we were learning lip slides late into those August nights Sweating Jackies on our brow, a sweetness not yet soured by the orange glow The things it had to know The rent that we now owe And an insatiable Myself up with our cans in the grandstand, all chanting higher. Yeah, it all went slipping from my grasp. A mansion casket smashed, saw 51 unfastened from a ragged flag under fireworks. Stuck myself.